Hey guys, this is your friend your neighborhood Scorpion and welcome back to this part 2 of the quest for more bacon. And today we'll be combining two of my favorite things, duck and lots lots of bacon. First off, you will want to create a bacon weave and for this particular bacon weave I went with 6x6 bacon strips. For a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to do the proper bacon weave, you can watch the part 1 of this series. When your weave is done, it's time to season your duck breast a bit, and for this I just use some salt and pepper. Now just place this bad boy on one of the ends of the bacon weave and just roll it gently together. When you're done rolling, just tuck in the ends as close to the duck breast as possible. Now you want to give it a proper beating on your frying pan, and no grease is required due to the oral fatness of all of the nice bacon. Do be sure to give it a nice frying on all four sides, in order to give the best crunchy feeling once it's done. Once you're done with this, it's now time to place your wrapped duck breast in the oven, on around 200 degrees for 35 to 40 minutes, depending on the size of the duck breast of course. While it's in the oven, you'll now have time to start your bacon basket. This little lovely device is made for the microwave oven, and it was actually a birthday gift from a couple of very close friends who also enjoys making bacon a part of their dinner. For the best result, you want to have three half bacon strips across the top and then two full bacon strips wrapped around the base of it. And then nuke it with max power for about three minutes, which will serve you great as a nice little edible sauce basket. I chose to make this dish with some nice Kirby fries and a bit of Bernays. Bon appetit!